Hello everybody, Global Warming Skeptic here, and here is the promised video from a couple days ago about the polls on Donald Trump. Now it's even a little bit wider of a margin for Trump now in the RCP average of polls. As you can see, Clinton's only winning two relevant polls that are put into this average. Um, so it's within the margin of error, but it's very, very safe to say that Donald Trump is very likely winning this race. Now, I'm going to show you why this lead is not indicative of Trump's actual lead. Now, keep in mind that some of this is going to be convention biased, perhaps, because a lot of this took place during the RNC, although a lot of these... Yeah, it's during the RNC. Um, so, we're going to go to Huff Polster to kind of narrow down and get a better picture because it actually has an easier to grasp view of the types of results from the polls. So, let's go search for that. So, we'll go Huff Post Polster and we'll go to election results. Oh, I got to put general, excuse me. So we'll go general election. Okay, now, now see, this this has Trump a little bit behind by 1.2 points for whatever reason. This HuffPost has always had a slight left-wing bias. But what's important, we're, we're going to show you, get into the results of these polls. And we're going to look at two things that usually affect that. Now in this one it's not so much because usually the undecideds have been more Republican than Democrat. As you can see now it's actually about even. 7% of Democrats are undecided versus 5%. But the more important number to look at is the independents. 26 to 38 Trump has a 12 point lead with independents. Now here's two CBS polls. Here you'll see more of what I'm talking about. 15% of Republicans are undecided versus 9% of Democrats on this poll. And it's close with the independents, but, um, well, no, it's not close, is it? No, that's an eight-point lead. I was looking at the one bottom one. Eight-point lead among independents. So the, the pattern does continue here. So let's look at the second poll. And there's very few undecided, just 3 and 4% undecided for Democrats and Republicans, respectively. But again, look at the independents, and Trump is leading by 6. And as you can see, there's still there's a lot of people voting on there. These might be Stein voters or Gary Johnson, etc., and 11% undecided. So you got a decent amount of undecided among independents, but the key note is they're leaning toward um, Donald Trump. Now, here you'll see the kind of the same thing, except for the undecided that have gone down, but still, Republicans 8% undecided, Democrats just 3% undecided. Oh no, excuse me, they're both 3%, because there's two polls here. And, but, more important statistic, Donald Trump, 13-point lead with independents. And down here, you have an 18-point lead among independents. And see, the undecideds with the part... It's actually shocking that I'm looking at this right now. I'm just doing this live. I didn't look at this just before, but I've looked at this a few days ago, and there were a lot of undecideds for both parties, and I think the conventions have largely made up minds... Um, 9 and 8 percent undecideds respectively, but Donald Trump 10 percent lead with independence. Down here, 8 percent lead with independence. And down here, you'll see, well, Clinton's actually got a lead among independents from the University of Delaware. Not terribly surprised with that, but it does go against the grain. Um, 
in this poll, though, you see the trend come back. You see 18-point lead, independence. Down here, you see 18-point lead again. And then you see that's another 18-point lead among independents. So you see a pattern emerging here, and that is that a lot of these polls, number one, because so many independents are voting for Donald Trump, obviously that means that a combination of Republican undecideds and Democratic participation in these polls, because there's more Democrats participating in the polls, is making the lead of Trump seem smaller than what it really is. And in fact, he doesn't even have the lead, according to Huff Polster. So, here's the thing. Watch for the Trump avalanche coming in the future. Trump very well, in two months' time, could have a 5 to 10 point lead in the polls consistently and it's like Reagan Mondale in 1984 the lead is probably not what the media will portray it as they will portray it as a tight race but this is not a tight race Donald Trump has a commanding lead you're not going to win the White House if you're consistently 10 points or more behind with independence. And so if Hillary Clinton cannot pull with those independents, this is going to be a landslide victory for Donald Trump. Anyhow, thanks for listening. God bless.